This next story was all caught on camera. A dramatic fight in the middle of an I-85 exit in Gastonia. Now police are searching for the attacker and the victim in the hospital. Joe Bruno caught the fight on video and has the latest from the newsroom. The man Gastonia police are searching for is no stranger to trouble. Justin Howard has been arrested eight times in the past two years alone. Now police are trying to find him with a view towards adding an assault charge to his docket. Anthony Candelario says it's his sister's ex-boyfriend, Justin Howard, that is seen here throwing him to the ground. This video capturing a couple seconds of a fight that started on the highway. They were swerving on 85, acting like they were going to hit me. So I pulled over. Well, they pulled over and I pulled over. They got off on this exit. I got off behind them and then he stopped the car and I stopped the car. And they got out and then basically pulled me out of the car and started whooping my ass. After slamming Candelario to the ground, Howard takes off in the SUV. Now police are searching for the attacker, who Candelario says was seeking revenge for ending the relationship between his sister and Howard. Why would they do that? Because uh, I'm like, I caused them to break up. The Candelario family tells Fox 46 that they have a restraining order against Howard. Howard has a lengthy criminal record, including a previous simple assault charge and two protective order violations. We're told those two violations involve the Candelario family as well. He's got a bad history of violence. My daughter's been trying to get away from him. and he, 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 We got a restraining order on him. He's driving by the house. He's driving by work. He's texting her, trying to contact her. Candelario's sister was not with him during the fight. And right now it is unclear who was following whom. Family tells Fox 46 Candelario is in the hospital receiving stitches and being treated for a concussion and broken collarbone. All stemming from this dramatic fight that a worried father says is all too common. So you would expect something like this from him? That's why we got the restraining order. And a Gaston County Sheriff's deputy tells me he also witnessed the fight while he was off duty. He says he was able to write down the attacker's license plate number, which is now being run through the National Registry. Of course, this is a developing story, and we will continue to follow it closely. In the newsroom, I'm Joe Bruno, My Fox Carolinas. Thanks, Joe. There were two additional people in the car with the ex-boyfriend, a man and a woman, but it's unclear who they are.